press this button. This button. Sixty. There we go. Fifty-nine. This is a countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Fifty-five. Fifty-four. This continues to be a countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Fifty. Forty-nine. Forty-eight. You're listening to the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Forty-five. Forty-four. Forty-three. This is the continued countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Thirty-nine. Thirty-eight. Right now. Thirty-seven. You're listening to the countdown. Thirty-five. The Slade and Mason show. Thirty-three. Please stand by as you are listening to the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. This is course the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. We continue now with the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Eighteen. Seventeen. Stand by. Sixteen. As we are now delivering the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Should I hit the record button? Eleven. Yeah, probably. This is our countdown to the Slade and Mason show. Six. Five. Four. Here we go. Three. Two. <laughs> now broadcasting oh. from the Dan Mason Studios, deep in the heart of Virginia, it's the Slade and Mason Show. <laughs> Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And, and this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason Show. show. <laughs> <laughs> Being the king once the... again. Uh, uh, good morning. <laughs> good, good morning, J.D. Hey, good morning, Mr. Mason. <laughs> how, how, you criminal, you. <laughs> how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're... I cannot believe I cannot believe that the Facebook or the YouTube police are, are so so diligent. I know that was what was what was it was uh, uh, the Charlie Chaplin recording? Yeah, but it was yeah. it was based upon a movie, so obviously, yeah. I I knew we were going to get dinged for that. That was funny. That was if you if you guys don't know what we're talking about. Last week was uh, International Sardine Week, so we played uh, a recording by uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin called. The Animal Trainer and the Sardine Song. So, and we got popped. We got a little notification. Hey, um, hi. This is this is YouTube, and yeah. So that song you played there, yeah. Someone's claimed rights to it, so we're gonna have to share. You know, the revenue. We don't get any revenue, by the way. Uh, the only revenue yeah. we get is when you guys buy merch from us. So, which uh, which is why I gave them. Well, I'll talk about that. All right, we'll talk about that. But uh, uh, again, good morning, Mr. Slade. Good morning, Mr. Mason. It is December 1st. We got 24 days left until that auspicious day. Oh-ho day. Where Santa Claus goes oh, down the chimney, ho-hos. eats all your cookies, ho ho. Yes, your sir. Milk. I'm going to have three or four ho-hos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are their names going to be? <laughs> <laughs> I went there. All right. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yes. Do you do you have your morning? You have your uh, morning rant. Your your weekly rant. I don't have a rant this week oh. because it's the time of peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Screw you! And kill somebody <laughs> when you're in the grocery store and in the shopping centers. <laughs> uh, I, I already, already. It's uh-huh. uh, let's see. The big season is now only two days old. There's already been one near homicide that I have already read about. Wow. And uh, and that didn't even have anything to do with a Popeye's chicken sandwich. But, uh, but uh, no, I don't. I don't really because I, I mean I've actually been um, been pretty at peace with myself, so I'm not angry about anything. Hmm. I guess I you can fix that though. Just say a couple of things to me, and I can get angry. So no, it, like I was saying. If he- so if you can go back in time and beat the living, you know what, out of someone, who would that be? If I could turn back time, um, 
one person. Mm. <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Anybody in particular? Anybody comes to mind? I so many. <laughs> I mean, could you could you kind of narrow it down to just like the, the first fifteen? <laughs> um, all right, all right, uh, back, 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 back. All right, let's try it this way. So, okay, if you if you could, now, me, how about the, how about just that? How about just this? How about just this? If you could go back in time, what would you do? One thing, one major thing you could do if you can go backwards in time. Um, it's I time. would hook myself up with a big lottery. Lottery, and then what? Well, then I'd be set. Set for what? Life. You know, again, once I've won that $143 million lottery, then mm -hmm. it's like I'm going and hide away and build my my ideal house on this little island, and it's like nobody's going to ever bother me again. I'm going to be gone, done, to myself. Can I, can I come? No. <laughs> no. It'll be the slate show. <laughs> 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 I'll be stuck sitting here going, I miss JD. Are we going to get big He was my friend to me. He went away from me. Oh, hold on, hold on, the next chord. I don't know what I could do for me. I okay. <laughs> I, yes, sir. It'd be Desert Island Slade, man. Do 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 do. Just you know, sit right back brother, in your hair. My brother has gone to Jamaica this week. He left yesterday. Oh. Now, so so it's like he goes, he seems to go there every every year. I, I think I know why, but I can't swear to it. So anyway, I'm looking <laughs> at people who posted to him saying, you know, again, okay, remember now, uh, again, it's illegal. Ganja is illegal there, blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the truth, ladies and gentlemen, and I passed this along to you because my brother passed this along to me. Yeah. It is not illegal it is decriminalized ah so that means uh except here in this country decriminalized means that if you have over an ounce you can go to jail uh in jamaica if you have over two ounces you know again because they consider two ounces personal ingestion yeah illinois and what was the other state just uh decriminalized marijuana this this week um, I'm waiting. Virginia is going to, they're going to get on that bandwagon yet. They're going to see how much money they can make on this. It's like, and it's going to be on like popcorn. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and, and it's not, the you know, it's interesting. Everybody thinks it's the pot growers who are going to be making the money and they're not because, no. because eventually what's going to happen is the, the, uh, was it ultra, ultra, ultras, ultras, the, the Marlboro companies, the, they're going to take over. <laughs> They'll take over these little mom and pop shops and go, yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Yeah, but I have 167 acres. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take, they're, they're weeds. We'll take care of them. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, here's $100,000. Did you see the, I got a post. I had somebody send me a, <laughs> a, a post that said, uh, let's see, 217 weeks and these tomatoes still ain't growing. <laughs> <laughs> You, you might want to change the soil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the flowers have now blown the house all out. It's so big. So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you know what you did not do? And I guess I better remind you because before you forget, and then and then we'll get oh, to the end. Of oh, the <laughs> my, my sorry. Yeah, let me do the disclaimer. <clears throat> Thank you. Sorry. While you're doing that, I'm going to go uh, tinky dink or get something to drink all or right. make a little common, little column, a little column. The Slade and Mason show is all about you and us, period. It is like a radio program. Well, it's not really. Where we share with you news, stories, things we see throughout the week. It's our take on it. Basically, we're just saying you're thinking, but you would never, ever hear in the radio. We're just having fun. Don't take it too seriously. All the music you're listening to is brought to you by Dano Music, unless we tell you otherwise. <clears throat> Uh, we do have the uh, Instagram page. You can go ahead and check that out. Last picture up there was 2016. Don't forget to tell your friends, your neighbors, uh, enemies, uh, local cops, uh, people you walk by in the street and go, Hey, I watch this guy Mason show. Uh, we are brought to you in part by I See Something I See. I know it is freakishly cold outside. It's like 39 degrees right now. But, um, yeah, uh, I See Something I See. Uh, yeah, we'll do that after there. What's going on here? I keep getting. Oh, you know, it, and I love technology. I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you. But 
it's getting to the point where you have something. So it started off real simple. Okay. We all had rotary phones. Then we moved up to touch tone phones. Then the, 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 you know, the brick showed up and everybody had the opportunity to have their own telephone. So everybody went out and got their own telephone. Then it got like the, the candy bar shape. And then it was a flip phone. And then T tech was a T tech. I guess it was Motorola brought the little, yeah, it looks like, you know, to the beam up, Mr. Scott. Okay. Then yeah, everybody had like regular, everybody had flip phones for a long time. And then we had the, now we went back to a flat phone again. So everybody has smartphones. Now, uh, now we yeah, couldn't leave bigger. Yeah. But now we, but, but now we couldn't leave well enough alone. Now we had to move on and everybody has to have smart watches. So it's not so bad that now it, it, you know, you, you have people, you know, contacting you from wherever you are on the planet <clears throat> And then they contact your phone. But now your phone transmits that information to your watch. So if you're Bluetooth distance away from your phone, now you're getting notifications on your watch. Like if I'm busy <laughs> of a morning, <laughs> if oh, you know what I, I mean. Yeah, okay. The last tonight. thing I want is to have to look down. And go, oh, great. Uh, I can get socks for $3 and get stocking stuff. For... No, I don't, I don't need it like that especially at eight o'clock in the morning uh of a sunday uh or as you guys go to it's 10 o'clock in the morning either way so I, I just think i just think we're so connected anymore it's getting to a point where uh that desert island you you're talking about sounds like a whole lot of fun let me tell you <laughs> i'm telling you you know listen i'm listening you there breaking one nine for ten thirty six we're experiencing operating difficulty. Please stand by. Hmm. I guess I'll play uh, this while we're waiting for uh, JD. I don't know where he went. Uh oh. I guess he has to reconnect. We'll go. Hey. There you are. You're back again. What happened? I, I have no idea. I looked up and your face was gone. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know, I've had many a person say that to me. But anyway. The, you know, the thing of it is, is that, uh, you know, what did we do before there were cell phones? Well, there well, were these little things that stood out in streets and roads that you had to stop and you put a quarter in them and da, da, da. Oh, well, the, you know, the, the peeping Tom devices? Yeah, oh, oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, phones. So, you know, it's like I am, I have always said now, I mean, and I'm going back to the day when I had a beeper, you know, Ooh. talk about. You're dating kidding. yourself, man. Yeah, I know. It's like, but I had a beeper because the radio station needed to be able to get a hold of me. And sometimes I wasn't near a phone, so they'd make sure that I could be reached. Then, of course, like I say, cell phones came along. And, and, and yeah, I had that big old bag phone, you know. It's the like, brick. <clears throat> yeah, the brick. Um, but, you know, I just do not think that I am so doggone important that I need to be able to be reached at a minute's notice. Well, is so, it? Go ahead. <clears throat> And there, and there have been many a time when I will walk out of my house and leave my phone because <gasps> I don't care, you know, again. But I also know people who will forget their phone. And, they, I mean, it's like panic. It's like tear the car up looking for it. It's like, oh, my God, it's like I don't have my phone. It's like life is going to end as we know it. It's like, no, 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 no. Well, see, that's the uh, deal. <clears throat> we become so dependent upon that. That uh, is, we are now androids. No. Uh, yep. We're androids. Listen. I've read Superman comic books for 50 years, and I read science fiction comic books. I read about when the machines take over. I'm not letting that happen. I'm going to be that old cogity guy who's got his 16-gauge shotgun going, yeah, when one of the machines comes over that hill, I'm going to blow his head off. <laughs> As he runs to his rotary phone, goes, shh, why is his telephone number so long? Shh, shh, Oh, I died the wrong one. I hang up and start again. <laughs> Meanwhile, the aliens are coming through the windows. Uh... <laughs> no, man. If there's aliens out there, they're not landing for a reason. <laughs> They've seen this mess. <laughs> especially, they... especially this time of year. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Oh, they... Lord. Yeah, they... Okay. So now I had, uh, I did the morning, my morning show on Thanksgiving morning. And I was done and back home by 10, 15. Mm-hmm. It was a very quiet, quiet day. I liked it that way. Mm. 
Nobody bothering me. Nobody hooping and hollering. None of that traffic all over the place. It was actually the way I wanted it to be quiet. Crickets. Good God, Friday. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I get to the radio station about quarter to four. Mm -hmm. There's nobody usually out. Man, quarter to four, it's like it's like a traffic jam on there right in front of the radio station. People I know. are just blowing horns and such and things like that. I'm like, wow, go home, go back to bed. No. Go get a cup of coffee. Yeah, they all got turkey breath still and they're out there uh you know. Oh man. See, <laughs> and that I see I I stopped getting caught up in that madness when I realized that, you know, that idyllic dream of, oh, going to the shopping mall and watching the people smiling just and the just so happy. Yes, it's just such a joy. No, sir, that's not the way it is. No. Nobody has it that way. So don't even fool yourself. I used to sit and argue that, you know, how can you go ahead and go online and order everything? You know, you got to have that feeling. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. See, years ago, I got smart and I learned that there's always one gift that's always the right size and always the right color. Money. Always. Always. <laughs> I no, thought you were going to talk about something else. It was green. No, here's, here's, <laughs> money. here's money. So now, well, now, of course, now they want you to go online and they want you to waste a lot of time getting caught up in that. And I mean, look, <clears throat> do you know how many security breaches companies have had this year alone? Oh, uh, on their security system, on their web servers. Too many to count. And so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you are just about to feed the biggest habit in the world. Because there are people out there who don't work. They haven't got a clue, but they know how to use computers. Yes, they do. And they know how to hack into systems. And all that stuff, you know, 5271-8432, dot, 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 is going to be in somebody else's hands. And then you're going to be mad. You're going to get mad because you're going to go, how could somebody do this to me and take my money and take everything? Baby, make me have to. Because you gave it to them. You know what I do, though? I don't. I don't. Burn cards. I no. Uh, close, close. What I use, I have. Um, so I use. Um, oh shoot! What was the guy's name? Hold on, hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay. Um, so we used to have, <clears throat> at the place I used to work, we used to have product that was related to a fellow by the name of Frank Abagnale. Remember the movie Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio? Okay. So he talked to us and he said, look, the best thing you can do is never, ever, 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 one more, two, three, six, one more, right. ever. ever, thank you, pull out your debit card and pay for stuff because that comes directly from your checking account. It's all gone. It's over with. Nice day. See you soon. Adios. Now, the flip side is using a credit card with the understanding that that credit card has to match funds that are sitting in your checking account. And that's what I've been doing uh, ever since I re had to rebuild my credit for reasons I can't really explain. Uh, I use an Amex card. And I put money on it. It's Amex's is, is money. If there's a breach, I go, dudes, it's not me. I didn't authorize it. Have a nice day. See you later, somebody. And I just go line by line, line and go, yes, 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 yes. If this is something fraudulent, I go, nope. And then when I'm done, I go ahead and I pay from my checking account into that credit card. That's it. I'm protected. I have a buffer. Yeah, well, you know, it's like, yeah, I have a buffer too. It's like it's called being broke. Being bro <laughs> <laughs> JD, you your, I think yours is bulletproof. <laughs> the ultimate buffer, man. It's like you, you, you don't want to steal anything if there ain't nothing there to steal. So yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think I think you beat me. I think you're you're 100 percent bulletproof on that one. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right. Hey, listen. And and see, and then I and I really do. I invite. I invite you criminals to go ahead and. Go ahead and hack my social security card. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, go ahead. I can't wait until you try to make that first application. <laughs> not, not a whole lot floating there. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like you know, uh, if it were, if it was, uh, if it was available, it's like as soon as you put in that last number, bells would ring, lights would come up. We're sorry. This account has been closed uh, prior to your hacking. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh I'm sorry. Hey, no, so a little earlier, you brought up the fact that, uh, and and I'm, I'm going to retouch on this. You said, you know, if, if aliens existed and they came down here, they'd look at us and go, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Gary, yeah, let's get back on. Yeah, roll up. The, uh, roll it up. Yeah, we're out of here. Because uh, quite frankly, we are such a messed up species. But my question to you is not so much the fact that aliens would run away. Why run away from us? But what would aliens eat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think about it. <clears throat> They're traveling 150, 200 light years, you know, at the earliest. And, you know, they, they're tra there are no 7-Elevens along the way. Let me tell you that. So... You're either like reprocessing your poop and your urine, or are you using some type of Star Trek replicator or something like that? But if you did, and you were alien, what would you eat? And would you be overweight? Could you have an overweight alien? I think these are questions we need to answer. I'm I'm less concerned about aliens coming and invading us as it is to them going through my fridge. I need to find out. Are they going to eat the eggs? Do they wait for the cheese to mold before they eat it? I mean, what's... Oh, do they want that meat cheese or... Meat head cheese. Head, <laughs> head cheese. Oh, so delicious. Love oh, the head cheese. Are wrapped in tinfoil that's grown a beard. Yeah. <laughs> it's got mold coming up out of the aluminum foil. You're like... <laughs> it's like a chia pet. It's... <laughs> It's moving. <laughs> well, 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 Mr. Mason, this is a brand new refrigerator. Yeah, no, just get it out of here, okay? <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so, so. Um, all right, so I, I did a video this morning to, to show the um the fine work that Ted hasn't done on our website. <laughs> Oh, and the one little button that I added. <laughs> Merch. <laughs> Merch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so for those of you who wanted to know what we're about, there's a great way to find out. But, you know, listen, <laughs> you know what we're about. <laughs> <laughs> I did my it's disclaimer. <clears throat> you know what we're about. So. Oh, hey, by the way, um, I was extremely unsuccessful in posting anything on Daily Motion. I made a promise I made a promise to the group that we'd be, be posting stuff on Daily Motion because YouTube uh, apparently, um, how do I how do I put this kindly? The uh, the Come rules on. that they have in place are in error, and I'll go over this a little bit. So uh, I was under the impression that before you start, okay, mm -hmm. for those of mm -hmm. you who are new to this, it's like and you're wondering about Copa. Well, it's like there is a there's a Come new on. thing that is about to hit. Uh, the internet, and I think that Dan is saying that there's been some amendments to it, but what it was going to do, it was going to change the way YouTube actually operates. Mm -hmm. um, that's correct. So <clears throat> the FTC rule says, look, it has to be either marked as for children or it has to be marked for adults, and that's what YouTube posted. Look, you have to mark it as an adult thing or a child thing. If it's a child thing, all the monetization goes away, all the faves, all that you can't you can't subscribe to it. Nothing. On the other side is it has to be strictly just for adults, like, you know, porn. Okay. But the FTC realized there's stuff out there. Like there's a, there's a guy with his son. And what they do is they take stuff apart. Like they'll say, Hey, what, what does a keyboard look like? So they'll go ahead and they'll videotape. It's like a 20 minutes uh, show and they'll videotape them taking apart a keyboard and looking at it and seeing how the electronics work and goofy things like that. Or, uh, they took apart a, um, uh, a, a Stretch Armstrong just to see what the gooey stuff was on the inside. So that's something that's listed as both for children and adults. 
And the FTC said, (laughs) the FTC said you can have that third option. YouTube decided they did not want to. And and an anonymous YouTube employee contacted that one attorney I was talking about last week and get it back to listen to last week's show and said, yeah, so YouTube knew about it. They ignored it. They're just trying to make money. And that's Uh, it. I mean, that's, that's, that's it in a nutshell. They're just trying to make money hand over fist. If he gave you the third option, they'll start losing revenue. And that's not what YouTube is all about. <clears throat> so with that in mind, what does that mean to the Slayton Mason show on YouTube? I'm just posting them and I'm not going to mark them one way or the other. All right. So and they're still going to go up on YouTube is, is, no, until. Got our underwear and a not for nothing. Yep. Until, until YouTube yells and screams. Yeah. And the FTC says, you know what? We're not even going after you. We're not trafficking this because we just don't have the time. There's 60 quadrillion videos. How are we supposed to keep track of all this? <laughs> are you out of your mind? So. There you go. Now you're right. See, again, they're, they're starting to think. They're thinking better than the government. <sighs> I don't know. I think this whole <laughs> is just a big brouhaha for nothing. <clears throat> anyway, it's big. I asked you a question before the show started, and you said, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Go ahead. What's your question? Okay. How do you feel about a black Superman? You want me to feel a what? I'm sorry, what? How do you <laughs> feel about a black Superman? Uh, fine. Is it going to be uh, uh, Elvis Ur- Urbo? What's his name? Something Elbow? No, you mean Elvis Elvis Idris Presley? Elbow? Yeah, Elvis, Elvis Elbow. I got, no. In another part of hound. Uh, Michael B. Jordan is the considered possibility to play Superman. Michael B. Jordan? Uh, Yep, Warner Brothers may cast Michael B. Jordan as the next Superman. The next Superman movie isn't expected to be released until 2023. They're kind of hoping that by then you'll forget that Superman is white, and Jordan allegedly doesn't want to commit to a project that won't be ready for three years. Now, so here's the problem. (laughs) Remember my telling you about my being a comic book aficionado? Yes. I am. I am. And, And it's like I am the purest kind of comic book aficionado. I am sorry that we feel we have to update everything to make it politically correct. But Mm -hmm. once again, I'm also sorry that Superman, Mm -hmm. Superman Mm -hmm. in the comic books Mm -hmm. was this guy with blue hair Mm -hmm. and it was blue. Mm -hmm. It wasn't black. Mm -hmm. It was blue Mm -hmm. with that little spit girl. Mm -hmm. And the way he fooled everybody was put on a pair of glasses, but he was a white man. He was a white man. So, well, let me tell you this. If if I saw a guy walking down the street with blue hair, uh, uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd probably catch on pretty quick that, uh, geez, Jack, yeah, that's Superman over there. Huh? The guy, the guy with the suit and the glasses? Yeah. No. No. No, it can't be. Yeah, look at his hair. Yeah, look. Oh, it's there. Look. Because Clark, he had the same color hair, too. <laughs> but like hey, Clark, that- uh, you're a little progressive here. Uh, most uh, companies won't let you have blue hair. Yeah, the problem I have, though, is I'm sorry. Look, you are now starting to mess with, with the entire mythos of Superman. Yeah. Because now you got to explain how all these black people got on Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could explain how they uh, got to the United States. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh... I think I think slavery was a little more progressive than one would believe. <laughs> and, and 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 like I said, so then you got to explain how all these black people got on Krypton, <laughs> and then of course you know that once you left the red sun of Krypton and you got to the yellow sun of Earth, you got all these superpowers. Wow. Man. Now, come on. Tell me I'm not going to be the ruler of Earth. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you want me to do what? Forget it. It ain't happening. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you uh, think it's full? Oh, watch this. <laughs> Whoops, frozen. Wait, look I at mean, that black guy. <laughs> He's running hey, this with this guy. Like, He's oh. going to kill us. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. All right. I, all right. You know what? <laughs> well, that's just what happens if we have a black Superman. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Not that there's any dial, but we'll be right back with the Slade and Mason Show. Why? There's so many things wrong with that.
day in history? December 1st, 1420. Henry VIII of England enters Paris and says, I'm Henry VIII, I am Henry VIII, 1824. Since no U.S. president uh, received a majority of the total vote, the Electoral College vote was put into place to elect the next president of the United States. Uh, rumor has it it had a lot to do with uh, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. 1918. The Kingdom of Iceland becomes a sovereign state, yet remains part of the Danish Kingdom, and they proclaimed it'll be a cold day in Iceland. Well, it is a cold day. 1960. Paul McCartney and Pete Best are arrested, then deported from Hamburg, Germany, after accusations of attempted arson. Ah, I knew the Beatles were hot, but... 1969. During the Vietnam War, the very first draft lottery in the United States is held since World War II. Well, that worked out well. And finally, 1990, the Channel Tunnel, better known as the Channel, started with the United Kingdom and France meeting 40 meters beneath the seabed. Why anybody would want to meet under the ocean makes no sense of what there, Freddy? What? Oh, oh, joint France and United Kingdom. Oh, 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 I get it. I get it. Never mind. Never mind. I'm Dan Mason, and that's December 1st. And now, for the new Christmas season, we hear Carmine DeGozio sings his favorite Christmas songs, such as I'll be home for Christmas. <clears throat> uh, yeah, hope uh, you got all my gifts under them, their tree. That's right. Carmine DeGuzio sings 37 of his favorite Christmas tunes for you and your family. Sit back and relax under a roaring fire as Carmine DeGuzio gives you his favorite hit songs like this one. First days of Christmas, tra la 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 Join the ancient Yule, Yuletide's carols. Tra la 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 uh, Don was there with all his stuff. Fa la 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 la. Join the ancient Yule's Tice Crayoles. Fa la 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 la. Oh yes, these will be favorites for you and your family for years to come. Just hear them sleigh bells ring a ling a ding a ling a ling toes. I've got some lovely weather for a sleigh ride to get what you use. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you slow. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride to get away. Send check and money order for twenty four ninety five to P.O. Box 9022, Fredericksburg, Virginia, 22405, and indicate you're looking to buy the Carmine Guzio Christmas album. We'll get that rushed off to you right away. It's Grant, just holding my hand, because I'm wonderful, and everybody knows I'm... <laughs> Yeah. 
basket, chop the tree down for a casket, and my poor Pappy's gone with the tree. Say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye to the old apple tree. Oh, if my Pappy had a notice, he'd be sorry that he grows it, cause he died on the old apple tree. Say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Sorry about that, gang. But now we must return you to the Slade and Mason show. Hey, goodbye! Hey, goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And this is the Slade and Mason show. That yeah, was so disturbing. That, aren't we? All right. So that you probably, probably. All right. So uh, first off, that was the old apple tree. Big surprise. By there Chuck, I, there uh, by <laughs> by Chuck Bullock and his Levy Loungers. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. This is for uh, National Apple Day, also National Apple Pie Day. Um, <clears throat> Real quick, uh, this segment of the Slade Mason Show is brought to you by Icy Something Icy, Shaved Ice and Treats by my buddy Sheila Keenan. Now, I know it's 39 degrees outside. It is, it's raining. It's miserable. It's not the time you think of to having an icy treat. But, hey, what better time to have it, right? It's cold. It stays cold with you. And it's a delicious treat. So, available for parties, birthday parties, any kind of party, uh, corporate events, fundraisers, more. Um so give her a call, 804-617-8827. That's, get a pen. I'll wait. Okay, I got my pen. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's 804. 804. That's the area code, by the way. Uh, 804. The, yeah, the exchange is 617. 617. And the telephone number is 8827. 8827. Yep, and that's. that's 804-617-8827. Yeah. What was that again? Did you? I want to make sure you got that right. 804-617-8827. That's right. Uh, so it's 804-617-8827. I'm sorry? If you can get those numbers, it's 804-617-8827. Call so now. Call. <laughs> Operators are standing by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Or you can check them out at www.icsomethingic.com. Look or eight four six one seven eight eight two seven. Give Sheila a call. So you know you could you could schedule like something for uh, the summertime. I mean things book up big pretty quickly. So um, yeah, listen, a lot of people are gonna be drinking. They're gonna want ice in their drinks. There you go. There you Good. go. And these will be flavored ice. So there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Eight four six one seven eight eight two seven. I just got to show. I was paying attention, man. Hi, I'm JD Slade. I'm Dan Mason, and this is the Slade and Mason Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh so uh, so um yeah so we we do don't have... care about black superman <laughs> we talked about that so i know you didn't you didn't offer anything and so it's like you know you sort of left me hanging there all right so here's here's the problem oh, so that yes, is yes. not marvel that is dc comics and dc, DC comics, comics yes. I was watching a Marvel's movie last night. It was, <clears throat> um, I guess, the Avengers, the, the the introduction of the Avengers, and the level of detail, the care, the consideration, something as 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 minuscule as watching different levels of of of. Okay, <clears throat> so there's one scene where the battleship. I don't, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this movie from 10 years ago, one scene, there's a propeller system that keeps the, the battleship aloft, and its systems blew out. And what they did was, not only did they have the smoke and the oil from the, from the fuel actually drifting up perfectly, but they also took into consideration things like uh, uh, hydraulic fuels coming up, and the color would change. And it's seeing drifting into and and being pushed through the the impellers. Had it been a DC comic movie, it would have been like smoke pushing off to the side and it would dissipate like half a nanosecond. DC doesn't 
doesn't do doesn't do the comics right. They don't they don't get into the details. Well, they see, schlock here, it. Here, they don't care about the scripting. It's just they were they were first at it and they set a standard. And unfortunately for DC Comics, Marvel said, Oh, what a crappy standard. Yeah. We can do better than that. Oh. And as a result, they are very detail oriented. Of course, I wouldn't go about uh, talking about the hydraulics and such. I'm looking more at the character development. I'm looking at the storyline. And right, you know, I get it. But, Mark Ruffalo <laughs> become the incredible hook is just one hell of a thrill. But here's here's the deal. The deal is this. You you become you become one with the movie, which is nice. With DC yeah. Comics, you you always know you're watching a movie. Yeah, I think that's well, what yeah. the difference it's like, is. It, yeah, it's it's that, that that is removed. It's not involving and engaging you into the story. Mm -hmm. You're watching it as a a 3D, uh, you know, again. So or or like <laughs> it's a or like it's a made for TV movie. Yeah, that's the it, that's what DC is. It's a made for TV movie. I mean, you know, again, when when they first came out with the Superman series and uh, what the heck's that guy's name? Um, the guy who, who ended up getting messed up over here in Culpepper <laughs> played uh, Superman. Uh, oh, 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 Christopher Reeves. Yeah. All right. You know, Christopher Reeves, they had a formula, but it's like it. You know, it was just a little it left you a little lacking because you thought, boy, there should be just a little something else there. Mm hmm. And unfortunately, Marvel found it. But of course, Marvel has also made billions of dollars now on the movies that they've released. Yep. Uh, Speaking of movies. And we've talked about this before. So I don't, I don't want to beat a dead horse to death. But you asked me if I thought a black Superman would be great. It, no. it, I think I think, I think think it's a, it's a great opportunity. Uh, I know it ruins the mythos. Stop it. Stop it. Stop uh, it. Stop uh, it. Uh, Things you know, change. Jerry Schuster would would roll over in his grave just at the thought of somebody deciding, well, you know, again, because we want to make sure that we're modernizing the story. No. Now, in no. four years, nope, nope. In four years, we're going to have a Hispanic one, and we're no. going to have a we're going to have a Muslim one. No. The, uh, no yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. <clears throat> no, yep, no, yep, yep. no. No. We're gonna no. Have a, we're going to have a cross gender tra uh, tra <laughs> yep, transy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. No, no, no we're not. No, Why? we're not. Why? Because okay. it's like I, I do believe Spider that Spider I do believe that DC will try and protect the sanctity of the Superman mythos. Well, they're not doing a very good job of it. <clears throat> no, they're not. You know, again, like I said, it, but it's like that would just pretty much do it. But speaking of movies, there's another movie in the works. Hey, this could be right up your alley, man. What that? Michael Jackson movie. Wait, is is he's dead though, right? Yeah, I know. It's like there's a new Michael Jackson movie in the works from the producers of the same folks who butchered Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh yeah. So it's gonna be. Is it gonna be like? Is it gonna be like clips of of Michael, or is someone gonna be playing the part of Michael? Oh no, someone's going to be playing Michael. Oh okay, because I, I remember uh, the yeah the, guy the that they had. Uh... What was that? This is it. Remember that. Yeah, that yep, came yep. out, hit DVD, and then went straight to the bargain bin. Yeah, <laughs> right out of the trash can. Oh my gosh! So, anyway, new Michael Jackson movies in the works. Uh, I don't know how much more they could say. Uh, I think everything has been said. Either he was or he wasn't. Um, here we are in the holiday season. By the way, how do you do Thanksgiving, man? Oh, so <clears throat> all right, Thanksgiving. So what I did was, you guys ready for this one? I took. All right. So I went down to uh, Lidl and I picked up a big, huge loaf of bread. Now, this was like about 12 inch by six and a half inch, about four inches deep. And I cut it in half. Now, th this isn't my recipe. This is just someone else's idea. But I got a roasting pan and I took the bread cut side up and I placed them down on the pan and I got the turkey. Now, the turkey was about a 14 pound turkey. So I went ahead and seized it, seasoned it with salt, kosher salt inside and out. Now, the trick is usually you want to season it with more than you think it needs because really, basically, turkey needs that little extra happiness that goes inside there. And then what I did was I took the turkey and I took all the giblets out because you don't want those in there. And I cut off the first two sections of the turkey wings because really nobody eats those anyway because the first one is too fatty. And the second one is just, yeah, nobody wants it. So took those, put those in a roasting pan. But I did a maraquois. Now, if you, as you know, maraquois is equal parts of 
onion, carrot, and celery. And I took the marijuana, I put it down on a roasting pan. Now, with hindsight, oh, I probably put a little bit of oil on next time because when I did it last time, it kind of burned. But that's okay. You want the burned onions anyway. So you put the bun down, and then you put the wings on there, and you take the giblets and put those on, and then you stuff those into like a 375 oven. After it's been roasting for an hour, you take that out, and you put that into a, a pot. In the pot, you're going to go ahead and put some chicken stock in there to cover it up, and you're going you're to cook that down for about an hour, hour and a half. That's going to be your base to make your gravy. Now, the turkey. Take that, put that in the roasting pan, but you turn it upside down. I know it seems a little weird, but you turn it upside down. You don't want it breast up. You want it upside down. So the breast is on the bottom, and you put that on top of the bread, and you put that into a 450-degree oven for two hours. Not six, not 15, not 100. Two hours at 450 now, mind you, you got the chicken sticking, uh, the turkey sticking with his butt sticking up in the air. But all that moist, dark meat at the top drizzles, <laughs> drizzles down and settles in the dry breast meat. And it becomes the moistest, most delicious, sticking his butt up in the air turkey you've ever seen in your entire life. Um yeah, I, I, now, now, mind you, the the part that's been touching the bread—that's the breast part. That's the showy part. You flip that over, and you put it under the broiler for about eight minutes, and it kind of crisps up the surface. But of course, the the keel bone will actually tear through the the uh, the, the skin because it's not—it's roasting on the bottom. And it tore up in the bottom. But it, man, I'll tell you, I will I will never ever cook a turkey upright again. I will always use a four fifty oven. That was a lot of fun. Yep. Mm. Oh, uh, Thanksgiving was great. Thanks for asking. And, and for those of you who uh, were wondering, a new study by the Water Quality and Health Council reveals that 26% of people don't wash their hands during holiday food prep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I did somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost sure I did. Let me think. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, <laughs> all right, we're heading toward Christmas. Do you have any plans for Christmas, man? Uh, yeah, I'm going into debt. <laughs> <laughs> well, a new survey by Eden Fantasies reveals that 70% of people plan to make love on Christmas Day. Oh, uh, that that won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, my God. 65% of those people are going to be real disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Hey, let me ask you a question. You. <laughs> you and me, a pleasure. pleasure. Uh, what, what does the word decimate mean? Uh, absolutely obliterate, destroy. By what percent? Um, decimate. Decimate. Oh, um, absolute. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Des, desa, deca. Oh, 10%. That's right. Okay. So, headline Decimated Flora, Florida Oranges. 10%. Decimated. Okay. So, uh, 5,000 of the 7,000 growers have gone out of business. So, that's about 75%. Uh, let's see. Florida grow down is down 80%. That's 80%. Somebody doesn't know about math, do they? 90% <laughs> are infected. Uh, yeah. So that whole word decimated just doesn't seem to make sense. It's a disease. It's called the Hong Yang Long Bang Bacterium. Orange crotch rot. Yeah, basically, it's the yellow dragon disease. It, 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 it settles on the, on the leaves. And they can't get any nutrients, and then they die. But not a lot of people know how to pronounce Hang Lang Byung, so they just call it HLB. Orange crotch rot. H. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad man. Bad man. So, so does that mean that the orange crop is going to be bad this season? Um, in Florida, yeah, it's going to be pretty miserable. <laughs> so that's why we have to start growing our own. Um, so, and I've started taking uh, that uh, that path as well. I'm growing some uh, basil, I think it's basil, and I'm growing some. Uh, <laughs> I thought about growing some too. <laughs> Tea leaves, maybe some uh, basil and uh, some it's, rosemary. Put it outside because it's real spotable <laughs> from the air. 
You can see it stands out like a sore thumb. You should bring it in a closet and, you know, use a purple yeah, light and a, and a fan. Electric, my electric bill will three times itself, triple itself, and that'll just give it away. You need a fan. <laughs> 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 um so um so yeah i'm i'm also growing uh, uh sweet potatoes and we'll see how that goes um one one's already it's actually taken root. better than yours <laughs> <laughs> My because people to eat yours <laughs> <laughs> i have a question for you dan all right go ahead who, who is billy eilish i don't know I don't know, but apparently Billie Eilish, I don't know if it's a man, woman, or child, is all over the news. Hold on, let me let me Google. Okay, Billboard magazine has named this person their woman of the year. She's currently the most streamed female artist with over 6 billion on-demand streams and nominated for six Grammys. Now, I'm in radio. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't never heard of this chick. No idea. Who yeah. Billie Eilish is. Uh, she's 17 years old. Well, that explains that. I got underwear older than her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got belly button a little bit that. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently, um, I, 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 yeah, she's all that in a box of Cheetos. People think she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I don't know who she is. Yeah, they said the same thing about Adele, but where's Adele now? Uh, you know? Uh, okay, so the American Music Awards was on last week. Uh-huh. And listen, I, I, I just have to wait long enough, and all this stuff will be off our television. Uh, 6.7 people, 6.7 people, right? 6.7, <laughs> all, all three of them. <laughs> 6.7 million people watch the American Music Awards. That's the lowest rating ever for the show. Come on, keep it going. Uh, yeah. So I'm saving the best part of this for the last part of the show, by the way. Mm. Mm. Oh, Super Bowl. You know, that's coming up. Sports reference, sports reference. <laughs> we, missed it. we missed it. We missed it. They sold out all their Super Bowl commercials. The 30 second ads were sold for $5.6 million a pop. Oh, they sold man. 77 national ads. How ridiculous. Man, I was so hoping we'd run the Slade and Mason show ad on there. And we were going to get it, but it's like they ran out. They sold out. Oh, man, what am I going to do with the five point six million dollars? I just took a lot. I have no off. idea. It's like you know, again, mm, I, I have a, I do have a cartel that'd be interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I get for return on that. Oh, um, yeah, there you go. Goodbye. Stay high. Yeah. All right, my last bit of damage that I'm going to do. Mm. It is time for my weekly report. On why America is the fattest land in the world. We got to the table for that, you know. Uh, we really do. All right, let's see. Hold on. Let me start. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, da, da. Da. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Go there. Fattest nation. I gotta go here. If you'd like to contribute, no, I don't want to contribute. And enter. I don't think it was a big issue back in the. Let's see. Oh, oh, here we go. Hold on. Here's a, here's a nice song. Keep that thought going. Keep that thought going. I have no idea what this is. It's a country song, 1947, so we'll probably get dinged on that one. All right, it's going. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. And here's why America is qualified as the fattest people in the world. The Daily Mirror claims that Papa John's restaurants in the UK are selling a Christmas dinner pizza. The crust is topped with a red wine gravy base, turkey meatballs, roasted vegetables, sprouts, mozzarella cheese, and a cranberry drizzle. Mm -hmm. Dish Magazine claims McDonald restaurants in Canada are going to sell spicy Chipotle seasoned fries for a limited time. An order is going to cost you three forty nine. dollars some Americans are planning to cross the border just to get the fries. Make sure you bring those, your passport. <laughs> those are the fat people that are going to see, you know, again. Delish Magazine claims White Castle has released a hamburger candle ahead of the holidays. You're not supposed to eat, though. Nor are you supposed to eat their ugly <laughs> Christmas sweater that's blue with hamburgers. Oh, God. There goes no French fries, Christmas wreaths, milkshakes, and Christmas lights. Yeah. Boom! 
means that Olive Garden is introducing a new four meat mac and cheese, braised beef, Italian sausage, bacon, and pan scarred beef oh infused my. into the restaurant's carb offering. Mm, yum. Fatty, 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 fatty. <laughs> Taco Bell is testing a new grilled cheese burrito at several locations, including Chattanooga, Tennessee. The burrito costs two ninety nine. There's another Starbucks Grinch Frappe. The magazine claims that Starbucks has another Grinch Frappuccino on their secret menu. The green drink features vanilla bean frappuccino, maca powder, strawberries, whipped cream, and extra matcha powder on top. Does it come with an alka seltzer? Yeah. <laughs> And last but not least, we're sorry to say, Bumblebee Tuna has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. No. Yes, I'm sorry. And that's the, that's why we're going to be the fattest country in the world. Don't forget, 804-617-8827. I just something I see. Oh, hey, fat mama. All right, hey. that was the uh, the fat gal by Merle Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just save that one. <laughs> ah, yes, there we go. Let's see here. Let's see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got one more for you. Oh, yeah. well, let me turn fat Marvel back on. Let me get this girl going. Whoop, bing. I can cancel. Look what you're making me do here. Here we go. Warm, warm yesterday. Warm, warm yesterday. out yesterday. Not as warm as tomorrow. Here we go. Met her on my CD. Said her name was Mimi. Sounded like an angel come to earth. Come to earth. When I went to meet her, man, you should have seen her. Twice as tall as me, three times the good. Twice the girl. My fat baby loves to eat. Loves to eat. A big old Buddha belly and a breast swing past her feet. My fat baby loves to eat. Loves to eat. My big old fat ass baby loves to eat. Loves to eat. I don't. There's only thing. Okay. Uh, what? Well, I... I don't know what happened. This show just kind of fell apart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're so sorry. <laughs> J.D. loves to eat, loves to eat. Hi, yeah. I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And, and this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason Show. No, that explains everything. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, are you about to play that song again? Yeah, you know what I'm playing right now? Oh, man. Yeah, my baby no, it's going to be worse. Loves- no, it's worse than that. Uh-oh. It's that one. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. not sure how it worked, but we ate up another hour. Um <laughs> Something we need to think about is breaking this up into 20 minute slots. Uh, apparently people what? yep, people listen for 20 minutes and they go I'm done. So <laughs> more work for me. A slice it into three and do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what we talked about, but it was a whole lot of fun. So we'll all see y'all next week. I'm Dan Mason. I'm J.D. Slade. <laughs> and I don't know what this is. Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And, and this, this is the Slade and Mason Show. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. I did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, be sure to go to OLFW.com. Check yeah. out our merch page. Yeah, buy our merchandise uh, so we can have a wonderful Christmas. After any of you don't listen, just buy the merchandise. Yeah, I'm ready to retire. So just buy the merchandise. And uh, if you want to advertise on our show, God help you. Uh, <laughs> we'd be more than That's happy to have you. Why? <laughs> Just contact us at the uh, 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 yeah, at the address on your uh, yeah, your Marconi yeah. device. Uh. <laughs> Say goodbye, Mason. Goodbye, Mason. <laughs>
It's like a dream sequence. Are they gone? No, I think there's, they're still. You guys still. Wait, 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 where's that guy? There's that guy right there. Him over there. Why is he staying there? I don't know. He's. And what's he doing in another raincoat? Why did he take his hat off? Whoops. Put his hat back on. Oh my gosh, he took his face off. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>